Hello, my name is Dominique Walker. I'm the Publishing Officer for the Scottish University's Open Access Press. Academic libraries across Scotland are collaborating to develop an open access publishing platform that is owned and managed by the participating libraries. Developments are now at an advanced stage with the launch of the press anticipated in late 2022. This introductory presentation will set up the background of the project, covering what the press sets out to achieve and why. It will also look at how we have set about developing the platform, where we've got so far and what we've got planned next. The project is being coordinated through SCURL, which is the Scottish Confederation of University and Research Libraries. SCURL is a membership body that supports collaborative initiatives across Scotland's academic and research libraries, and it's hosted at the National Library of Scotland. SCURL has existed in some form for over 30 years, so member libraries have a strong background in working together to support cooperative developments. An example of this is Sheddle, which is the Scottish Higher Education Digital Library, and that's a collaborative procurement network developed through SCURL, and it's been in place for around 12 years. Sheddle provides access to electronic content, for example, ebooks and e journals, for library users across SCURL member institutions. And it's this collaborative experience that provided the foundation and the framework to take forward this exciting open access initiative. The process began with the identification of a shared challenge. In this case, it was the need for a clear and cost effective route to open access publishing that would satisfy funder requirements, ref requirements, and also align to the principles of Plan S. There is a growing focus on open access by funders and the wider scholarly communications community, and the options for publishing open access with commercial publishers can be complex and costly. The Scottish University's Open Access Press aims to offer an affordable and straightforward way to publish research at Scottish institutions. Beyond meeting this immediate objective, there is an appetite to explore alternative approaches to academic publishing that are of the academy and have the needs of the academy at the core. Publishing more work open access can help raise the global visibility and usage of research at Scottish universities, increasing the high impact of research outputs across all disciplines. As a not-for-profit press, there is also an opportunity to publish more specialist content, focusing on academic quality over sales, as well as opportunities for collaboration across institutions. Through Sheddle, SCURL knew they had the capacity to work together to deliver a mutually beneficial outcome for the sector in Scotland. In 2019, SCURL commissioned research to test the proof of concept for a collaborative universities press. The resulting report was very favourable towards the prospect and discussions began on taking forward the findings. Unfortunately, the COVID pandemic intervened and plans had to be changed accordingly. So 2022 is now shaping up to be the year of action. That explains the high level why and the why now. The Scottish University's Open Access Press is seeking to produce an online open publishing platform where digital content is freely available to all using CC BY licences. In addition to this, the press is looking to provide a print on demand option. The scope of publishing will initially focus on research monographs on any subject produced by academics at one of the 18 participating institutions. The press will focus on monographs in the initial two year pilot phase because there is the strongest need here for alternative approaches. UKRI policy is changing in 2024 to include open access monographs. So the press aims to provide a compliant and cost effective route to open access publishing for academics who will be affected by this change. There is also the intention to expand to cover different types of content, such as journals and e-textbooks e as the press develops. We will cover all subject areas that receive submissions, conscious that the arts and humanities and social sciences are likely to be most involved in publishing monographs. We want to emphasise that despite the name of the press, we are not just covering Scottish topics. The press will operate on a not-for-profit basis. The delivery model, working with participating institutions, offers scope to bottom out the true cost of publishing. The press wants to provide a fully featured professional publishing platform and is committed to finding the best solution possible to cover costs and we will do this in consultation with our participating institutions. There are 18 participating institutions, ranging from the larger research intensives to small specialist institutions. The Open University Library is taking part too. 
there will be considerable variation in the publishing needs and patterns of the different institutions. The press has developed an open and inclusive management structure so that all participants have equal voice in decision making. For this reason, the management board has one representative from each participating institution. The management board was formed towards the end of last year and meets quarterly. It is responsible for providing the strategic direction for the press. The management board is chaired by Hannah Whaley, who is assistant director at the University of Dundee Library, and the vice chair is Dominic Tate, who is head of library research support at the University of Edinburgh. On 1st of March, I joined as the publishing officer and I am the first dedicated member of staff working on the press. Gillian Daly, who is SCURL's executive officer, takes on the role of project manager and she is responsible for the central coordination of the efforts across the group. The approach of the press is very much dependent on the contributions of the member libraries, using the skills and expertise available across the SCURL network to drive the project. It allows us to keep things small and simple while offering the potential to scale up according to demand over time. Keeping as much of the activity as possible within the SCURL network also means an ability to get a handle on the true costs of digital publishing and the opportunity to keep those costs as low as possible for our participating institutions. The press will operate on a not-for-profit basis and any services will be reinvested in the press for the benefit of all of our member institutions. The press has a two year commitment from our members to contribute to running costs that mainly covers salary costs for dedicated staff and platform hosting. The overall journey to establishing the press will be a five to 10 year project. This process is being supported by the management board of the press, as mentioned in the previous slide, and we are currently recruiting for an editorial board, which I will talk about in the next slide. The editorial board will be formed primarily of academic colleagues from participating institutions. The call for members is open to academics in any discipline. The intention is to have good coverage of disciplines and types of institution, as well as broad geographical coverage across Scotland. The press is keen for the editorial board to promote diversity across the group and will focus on including early career researchers, giving them experience of working on an editorial board with guidance from more experienced colleagues. The role of editorial board members will be to advocate for the press and encourage submissions, review proposals and contribute to the development and ongoing management of the peer review process. There has been a very positive response to an initial call for expressions of interest, which is still open. Uh, the deadline is the 5th of April and the link will be provided at the end of this video. The next stage is a more structured recruitment process to form the editorial board, of which more information will be released soon. The recruitment of the editorial board is progressing well. The next major milestone will be developing the online platform with support from the University of Edinburgh. The launch of the platform is scheduled for autumn of this year, so the press is looking at a busy few months ahead. There will also be more work around the financial model and costs. When the technical infrastructure is in place, the press will look to start publishing as soon as possible thereafter. We are also undertaking a partnership mapping activity to make connections with all of the amazing work that's already going on around open access in the UK and internationally. We are really keen to hear from academics and staff across all institutions. It is very much a collaborative effort, so please do contact me with any feedback or thoughts. Everything is useful to help us develop the press to the needs of our institutions. Finally, here are the links to the SCURL website and the call for the editorial board, as well as the link to the proof of concept. Thank you very much for listening and please do get in touch if you have any questions.